shoot the runner, shoot, shoot the runner. I'm the king and she's my queen. Shoot the runner, shoot, shoot the runner. I'm the king and she's my queen. Dream, dream again in your way. Always knew that you would lose yourself to the scene. Am I your Runner, shoot, shoot the runner. I'm the king that shoots my queen. How's it going folks, this is Wayne All about another lesson and an absolute classic as always today. We've got Kasabian and Shoot the Runner. Um, absolutely love this song, uh, one of the older ones off the first album, uh, very melodic, uh, fairly easy to play, uh, there is sort of the way that I play a few sort of power chords in there, but we'll get to that in a moment. So if you do want the chords, lyrics and strumming pattern to this song, as always I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, so there'll be a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description if you want to go over and click on that. And if you sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month, you get access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past 14, 15 months since I set the patron thing up and there's also stuff to coincide with a lot of the technique lessons you know the blues stuff, the scale stuff there's some riffs up there that aren't currently up on YouTube so what you're waiting for, go and sign up uh, thanks for the continued support thanks to everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so your support is immense, thank you very much if you haven't done already, I'll quickly mention this hit that little notification bell that's somewhere down there so you get notified every time I post a video up Another way that you can help out if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok. As you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning. And there's two parts you need to learn to this song, which is the verse and the, the little interlude between the verses. So um, once you get that down, it's a fairly easy song to play. Uh, the verse is just two chords. It's going to be an A minor going to an E minor. Okay, so what we get is... Now the strumming pattern that I use for that is a down, down, a 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 down. So if you hear that around the chords... Another thing, I think it's nice to do these little embellishments around the chords to add a little bit more to the song. So occasionally on the A minor I'll either lift my first finger off or the second finger. On the E minor I tend to lift, and I'm doing that with my second and third finger, I'll occasionally lift the third finger off turning it into an E minor 7. So if we just demonstrate that, so you got... So that's pretty much your verse, that's, you know, it's going to repeat all the way through the song on the verses. Okay, so if you look at the little interlude that comes after the verse, uh, and now I play it with power chords, but I'm going to read it out to make it a little bit easier to understand in sort of single notes, so I'm going to read it out in tab form. Okay, so we're going to start off with three on the E string, to five, then we go to three on the A string, so put that together, we've got... We're going to go to 5 on the E string, 5 on the A, 3 on the A, and then 3 on the E, back to 5 on the E. So put all that together, we've got... Okay, so it'd be nice to sort of add an extra note in, do it as power chords, you know, just add that extra note on. 
So on the string underneath, sort of three frets up. So if we start off with the first chord, which is a G power chord. I've got my first finger on the third fret and the E string. My third finger will go on the fifth fret, that will be on the A string. And we're gonna move that shape around, you know, all these different sort of chord shapes. So we, really slowly we got. <laughs> sound a little bit beefy it's nice to have the little uh, pinky on as well adding the octave note in so that's just adding it on the under the third finger that would be so if I'm doing the G first finger third fret on the E third finger that's fifth fret on the A little pinky will go fifth fret on the D string so now we're playing it as a three finger power chord just adds a little bit more beef in there so Okay, so then we got these little turnaround chords. So after that's gone around twice, where it goes E, D, C, B, and then we go back into the A minor and into the verse again, to the E minor. Okay, so that then. Same again with the second verse, just those two chords, that uh, A minor and E minor. Uh, then there's a little solo section that's just going over the same chords, uh, A minor to E minor. We've got the little sort of interlude again and uh, sort of back into the same chords, the A minor and the E minor. And the outro is just, so, you know, sort of the, the interlude again, which is... <laughs> all you're going to need okay so thanks very much for watching it you will dub that uh, i do get quite a lot of requests for kasabian stuff and i have done a couple i've done lsf you want to go and check that out can't remember the other one i did um, but like i say if you put in wayne our guitar kasabian there is a couple that oh it was fire it's just come back to me so if you want to go and check that one out uh, one of my favorite kasabian songs that so, uh, but thanks to everyone who's requested it. Now, if you've got any other requests, not just for Kasabian, you know, anything 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason. So the easiest way to put your request in is in the comments below the video, or if you want to find me a personal message over, you know, through those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the video, you're very welcome to. Please do keep your requests coming. I just point out that I do get quite a lot and I do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit. So if you have requested the song and I haven't done it yet, I am working through a little bit of a list. But moving forward sort of into next year, I do want you to keep, you know, sending requests because there's always some gems in there that inspires me. So please do keep them coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so. Uh, your support has been amazing this year. I'll quickly mention it again. If you are subscribed and you haven't done already, please hit that little notification bell that's somewhere down there. So you get notified every time I post the video up. Uh, the patron thing, sorry to keep banging on about it, but if you want the chords, lyrics and strumming patterns to coincide with a lot of the lessons that I do and the technique lessons, it works really well. I always like to have the lyrics and the chords and everything in front of me. So you get access to all of that. And uh, as I said, for as little as a couple of quid a month. So there's a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description. What you're waiting for, go and check that out. Uh, if you don't want to do that and you want to show some appreciation, I've got a new feature which is like a little thanks link that's under the video there. You can click on that and make a small donation. Again, very much appreciated. Another way that you could help me out, I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos. Tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please point them in my direction. I really appreciate that. So that just leads me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, whether it be morning, day, night, Thank you very much and I'll catch you all for last very soon. Take care.